welcome everyone. In this video I'm making a galaxy painting with the iridescent acrylics from Matisse. If you want to know how I did it, then keep on watching. Artiza came out with new acrylic colors. These iridescent paints were just really stunning. They really like color shift. There's like two colors in there, sometimes even three. So I wanted to try to do a galaxy pour with them to showcase like how beautiful these paints are. I've used fairy tale blue, playful pink, royal purple, glowing peach, electric plum and fancy black. I'll put the colors down below in the description as well so you can read them off there. Of course I'm using Obertroll Float Troll to mix these paints, so I'm putting about a centimeter in a cup, I'll show you in a bit how much that is, and then I'll add the paints. These paints are a bit uh, less thick than the normal acrylic paints, the viscosity is a bit thinner, so I use a bit more Float Troll to make sure the colors really pop. And here I'm showing you some of the colors, they just look really, really beautiful. It's almost like the mica powders that I used before by Itiza. Just add one squeeze in there with a centimeter of float roll. The camera will focus in a bit so you can see how much I put in there. And then you just mix the paints really well with the float roll. I had no idea what the end result would be because I'm only using iridescent paints. So it was really a surprise for me. I wanted to see how the colors would mix together in a dirty cup bar and how everything would look. So. As you can see from the beginning and in the end you will see how beautiful it is. I will be showing you an all in depth how I mix these paints with the float troll and what I used to make this painting. Because if you wanted to try this for yourself, if you have these paints in your house, um, you can try to do this pour as well. I think these paints do a similar thing to the mica powders, only they are already pre-mixed for you. So you don't have to use mica powders and uh, float troll. And the mica powders are more expensive than these paints. So these paints are way more fun and way easier to use in your acrylic paintings. I will put a link down below in the description where you can get these paints. Like before, I'm not sponsored by Artisa, I'm not getting paid to say this. Uh, they just sent me product to try for free and I see if I like them and I'll show you guys how I use it. Um, so it's not sponsored content that I'm showing you. I just love creating with new stuff just like anybody else it's being creative and trying new materials for your pores um, in this video now right now i'm showing you uh, when i add the water as you can see i don't add more too much water like i do with the normal paints and in real time i show you the consistency i just wanna wanted to have a little like swirly on top of it and then just disappear so it stays on top for a bit and then disappears and that's the right consistency you want for this painting and sometimes I'm a klantz, so I drop the water here <laughs> and then I keep on filming and then I clean it up and then filmed again. Um, this happens <laughs> a lot of times in my studio because I don't really have a studio. I work from um, a second bath, uh, bedroom and I just have like one bureau that I work on, one table and that's it. So as you can see, you don't need a fancy studio to create beautiful paintings. You can do it just from your home. I started from the kitchen table and then I made my place here in the second bedroom. When you've mixed in the float roll and the water, your pit mixes are ready, but you have to add silicone oil and I forgot here. Sometimes I do that, I just forget, I get too excited and I just want to pour the uh, painting. I prepared the canvas, so I put some tape on the back, put the push paints in so it stays uh, away from the surface so it doesn't stick and then somewhere <laughs> down the line I'll add some silicone. I'll stop talking now so you can enjoy me making this painting and I'll see you in the end of the video.
I was so excited for the end result. I don't know how, but a rainbow popped up in the black. I think all the colors did mix a bit, but it just looks really, really stunning. So I have a few videos here that showcase the really beauty of the iridescent acrylics. I really hope you liked this video. Please leave a like and subscribe. It's much appreciated and I'll see you in the next video.